My name is Reverend Nancy Wilson. I'm proud to be the moderator of Metropolitan Community Churches on this World AIDS Day. Nearly 30 years ago, MCC in San Diego celebrated the very first AIDS vigil, a 48-hour vigil of prayer for people with HIV and AIDS in a time where there were no medications, in a time that was very hopeless, a very dark time in the life of our communities and the life of Metropolitan Community Church. Today there's been so much progress over the last 30 years or so in prevention and treatment for HIV and AIDS, and we are very proud of that, and proud of the ways in which now many more faith communities have joined in opening their hearts and minds and lives to people with HIV and AIDS, their families and friends. We were the first church to be the church with AIDS, and we still are that church. Among our pastors and elders and leaders are those who have HIV and AIDS and who have lived victoriously with that disease. And there are also many families and friends, many of us, who continue to love and support our friends and family with HIV and AIDS. All of us who love people who have HIV and AIDS, uh, we too are impacted and affected. And that continues to be the story of Metropolitan Community Churches. And I just want to commend to our churches and to say it's very important that you do several things this year in HIV and AIDS. First of all, to really understand in the United States that young gay and bisexual men, especially men of color, are at great risk. The incidence of STDs and of HIV is increasing in those communities. And uh, this is partly because of the stigma and the homophobia and transphobia that still exists in our communities. Around the world, there are still many people who don't even know they have HIV, who have never been able to be tested, or who do not have access to treatment and to drugs in their country, often because they are LGBT. And so there is still so much work to do, whether it's in the Caribbean or in Africa, in Eastern Europe or the United States, in our cities and so many places. And so first of all, talk about HIV and AIDS. Let's never fall into silence because we know that silence equals death. Give permission for people in your church to be out about their HIV status, to be able to talk about it, to be able to get support and help and be empowered to be in charge of their own health care. Also collaborate with local groups that are working for HIV prevention and care. Offer times of HIV testing in your church and collaborate around advocacy for people with HIV and AIDS in your city or state or country around the world. And I thank you also for praying every day uh, for those who continue to fight this good fight and for every MCC to be a place of hospitality, of openness, to be that church with AIDS in our world today. God bless you.